Hello to everyone and welcome to another adventure story channel video about marine engineering. And today we will talk about for some parts of new kind of engines and we will see the differences. We will see exactly how they look like in real okay, drawings. And we will discuss a little bit what have changed, which improvements have been made and let's go okay we'll talk today about fuel oil system and let's go down okay the new fuel oil pump it's called fuel oil pressure booster okay it's uh, this is a small change of the name okay and we will see okay because this uh, if the the new pumps the adjustments you can make from mop okay from the panel from inside engine control room you just uh, you can adjust fuel injection timing fuel index and let's go here also to see this diagram as we can see the oil is going from sump of the engine is filtered here and then these kind of pumps increase the pressure in the system okay it's passing here double wall pipe and through the FIVA to the actuator to the fuel load pressure booster okay and then it's drained again and go back this is the cycle next we have here fuel oil okay pressure booster this is the old type of fuel pump here we have helical cut here of the plunger okay we have buffer screws we have springs here down and we have a lot of components and as we see here the new kind of fuel as it called fuel oil pressure booster okay this is the engine s50 mec compact engine we have a suction valve here this is a fuel plunger we do not have this helical cart and we have the oil inlet from here from this part okay i can make a zoom so you have a better view 10 bars coming here passing here wait inside and when hydraulic actuator okay will activate it and the pressure will be pressed here okay this plunger will travel up okay and will compress the fuel and here this is where our high pressure hoses is connected in this point okay let's go down to see piece by piece this fuel pressure booster okay this is the top cover here we have some ceiling rings this is the sensor here okay the plunger and this is the casing of the pump and studs okay and this is another view with accumulator here it stored the hydraulic pressure and when FIVA valve gives a correct passage the oil it travels here passing here and fresh upwards the hydraulic piston okay then when uh, the injection is finished the FIVA valve change position okay and this drain port is open so all the oil is drained from this part and going back to the system okay and also here we have indication high pressure hydraulic oil inlet 
inlet from here, accumulate here and with high pressure force the plunger upwards. Also there is a new slight fuel valve okay and I have prepared a video where you can see how it looks like inside. This is how it separated. This is a non-return valve. Okay, this is the nozzle complete here. And this is the cut-off slide, okay? For from where the injection starts. Okay, this is we have now screws. And here how the circulation obtained inside the fuel valve. Okay. And now we're going for injection. This is how fuel it flows inside the injection. Okay, now we are ready. And then when the pressure rises, the cutoff slide go up and the injection done inside the cylinder okay this is how it looks like and here also this is the working principle here you can see the hydraulic oil acting the piston and how the fuel oil goes next and here when the piston is going downwards the oil is drained here, okay. So also here we have indication of components. This is our fuel valves. This is our fuel booster pump. And some indications here we are going each pipe. This is another indication. We have inductive sensor, okay, which monitors from here. I will make a zoom. Okay, monitors the position that ignition already done. This is the suction valve from key 98 me and this is how we check with gas oil for five minutes if it is if there is not any drop it's okay okay this is again the diagram and this is from the computer the fuel index adjustment okay and also here another page chief engineer limit adjust of maximum pressure this timing of fuel injection corresponding to VAT adjustment on the MC engines. Okay, and let's see the old fuel pump. There is a lot of components here, as you can see. There is a shock absorber here, top covers. As you can see, there is a lot of components suction valve on the top okay and this is the new type of fuel oil pressure booster okay that is it ceiling rings snap rings plunger also ceiling rings here it's more and more 
easy as you can compare here the parts is less and also I have found a very nice image here how the fuel valve is working okay same as we saw on the video okay the fuel enters here okay and goes from here from vent as we see here let's make a zoom okay the fuel oil is going here here and here okay where is the black okay so next the non-return valve as the pressure increases will close this hole here okay it's a uh, in the circle here it's zoomed and this line here shows where the zoom is made okay so the non-return valve close this port and what happened next from the vent here we do not have any fuel coming okay we do not have flow so the fuel passing here also pressure increase and here we have a spring inside the pressure wins the force of the spring and lift this part here inside the non-return valve okay so the fuel start and travel from here to downwards okay to the cut off slide so next here this part wait more pressure to be applied to win the force of this spring okay we need to press the spring upwards so the out of spindle will be lifted up and we will have an ejection so next here you can see how it closed okay the cut off spindle and now when the pump pressures more pressure okay these springs go up it's compressed and the cutoff spindle it's lift also up okay due to the pressure applied on the surfaces here so next we have an ejection which we can see here okay and it's easy to understand if you close view this kind of diagrams okay we do not have flow here here it increases also we do not have passage here and here it's passing okay that is it guys thank you for watching i believe that was helpful for everyone I'm waiting your comments your likes and your subscriptions and we will continue in later videos with other components we will see in detail and we will discuss a lot of topics about engines and engineering at all thank you for watching guys check my previous videos Stay tuned to Adventure Story. Bye-bye.